coming to you live from the west coast of Livingston. We're coming to you west coast time, which is 420, 420 Pacific, 720 Eastern. Last night, we... Let me move this a little bit closer to us. Last night and today, we watched Saturday Night Live. And I watched... This ep there was a segment they did twice that inspired this live. Hi, Amy. Hope you had a great weekend. Um, yes, which I thought was very clever. It was very funny and very well done. And Chance was very cool as the judge of this segment called First Impressions. Right. The 10 second judge. Uh, so Chance the Rapper was the host. So that's what inspired this. Well, but it really yeah. got me thinking as as he was the but judge. But we didn't want we did we watch it last night or uh, this I morning? I watched you what you felt. I no, no, I watched the no. beginning of no, it. No, I saw it last night. Asleep. I saw it last night. I saw the whole thing hey, last Nick. night. And I left. And he actually what couldn't contain his laughter. Yeah. Like he had to keep covering his mouth because he was cracking himself up or just right. the, well, what, the way funny, they did it. It was it. It, was, it was really done well, but the thing is there's always truth in jest. Hey, Ricky. Well, right. I mean, hey, because Nick. these are written by. Sorry for well, my fingers. Yes. What? As I'm, as I'm they're written by what? People. I mean, you know. I mean, these are real. But people funny. That are and um, so, this thing about first impressions, and I thought about everything as I'm watching this segment. It's how you look. It's how you sound. It's how you talk. It's about your mannerisms. It's and and we get, we get um, yeah. judged. Very quickly. You know. Very. And you don't, they say, what there's a saying, you don't get a second chance to make a first impression. Right. But and I think first impressions really last. And I've always, I always, I give, um, you're good first impression. I, but no, but I get, I, I, I am one that believes in first impressions. I think in first impressions are important. Well, by the way, like, I, I don't, I don't discount someone making a better second impression if they don't make a good first impression. Yes, but there but, is nothing quite like a good first impression. But on the same note, okay, sometimes, okay, you know, you see some certain things more so mm -hmm. than you do other things. Hey, Lisa. So, for instance, hey, Lisa. Got this so, like right you said, there. first of all, I read something where it even takes just three seconds to evaluate someone the first time. Then another thing I read said seven se like. Seven seconds, you make ju you have judgment, and then another thing said less than thirty seconds. Last night they called it the ten second judge, right? Right, right. right? Is right. that what they they right. pointed? What a ten second courtroom or right. whatever it was, but it was you know making a a quick judgment based on how you present yourself. How you present yourself. But the thing is, is the thing is, his impression was the minute you walked in the door, it was like right, it's but like, it, like and okay. and it was it which was, is which was exaggerated as Saturday night like right, this. but you know you you can't it was you know stereotypical. First impressions. Yes. So how you impressions. act, what you say, what, what you, you do. Um, you know. Got how you react. I mean, right? Like even like your orientation with a judge in a courtroom, right? Um, how you dress. So it's your body language, it's your demeanor, it's your appearance and it's your mannerisms. Appearance, and, meaning and, how you and, dress. And, and how you dress matters. And I got to right. tell you something. I wouldn't be with him today if based on necessarily, not necessarily our first date, not necessarily the first time I may have seen you, which you were kind of invisible taking the photo of me. I really didn't know who the hell you are, and I really didn't know that you were going to ask my number. But I will tell second. you. Wait a For some reason, I'm, 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 no, I got to tell you, you I'm a little earring? insulted. Wait, wait, let me tell you. I'm one. insulted you because an for someone who dated as much as you dated. Yeah. I mean, here I was fresh meat. I mean, yeah. I'm just saying, like, it, it was mean, like. Didn't mean I wasn't looking at how you were dressed. What kind of jeans did you have? What kind of dress did? What kind of jeans did you have? Go ahead, tell everybody. <laughs> Go ahead, tell everyone. Tell I everybody. don't know if I was wearing jeans that day. Well, when you wore your jeans, I could have been wearing jeans? khakis. Uh, no, when you wore jeans, you very likely may have, which is not something you would actually wear now. No. You wear mostly Levi jeans. Well, now, I, or Gap jeans. I would wear, I would wear okay. black. No, I wear no, no. black. Black kind of jeans. Black. I had a thing with labels, you know that. Okay, so you can call me Snippity Snoo, but what kind of jeans are you wearing? They were bugle boys. Okay. <laughs> and what kind of um, things did you carry around with you to hold the mic? I carried items? a satchel. Gold, hey? Then, <laughs> <laughs> And then what did you have in your ear? 
I had a Bluetooth. Uh, no, what did you have in here? I mean, today that's like normal to walk around with those. What did you have in here? Okay, so by the way, Holly. Okay, even though all the other guys are losers, I, hey, Steve, they were losers. Didn't I also have a, a ponytail? Actually, <laughs> there you go. Wait, wait, it gets better. What was in your closet when I came to your apartment? Uh, two girls tied up. No, what was in your <laughs> closet? Go ahead. Furniture. It wasn't used as a closet. It was a big walk-in <coughs> closet. There was a dresser in the closet. Wait, it gets better. It gets better. How many dogs did you have? Two that I know of. Okay, wait. And where did you store all the unopened bills? They, they were on the kitchen table. Okay, so the thing is, is that I noticed a few things. But you wonder what? <laughs> I am still happy, 28 years plus later, that I am with this guy. Now what did now what there was you go. now by the way, go ahead share everyone with you your first impressions. Um, mm, I had big boobs. Yes, that's exactly what I was gonna say. Okay. Big boobs. I was, you wearing were very red, I was wearing a red. No, no, that was our first date. You yeah, wore the first, red sweater. Right. I was. I don't think I was wearing anything memorable. To, when you asked my number, no. I have. I what, mean, wait a second. Do you remember when very, you asked my number? You were very curvy. You were. Okay, you, so had, you were. You know. You were um, vivacious. True. I and guess. you were fresh meat. I hadn't done yeah. you yet. Yeah, so. but by the way, you told me you were fresh meat for me, and you didn't do me that day either. I could have. I could have done you the first day. Nope. Nope. Come on. No doing me. Please. Please. Um. So, Robert. Okay. So you caught. You pinned me against the wall as I was leaving. Yeah, I know. Well, I am. I am vivacious. But the thing is, is okay. First of all, I love it you so hurts. much, and I got to tell you, girls. If you're looking for your special someone, or guys, if you're looking for your special someone, let me tell you, shoes are changeable, okay? Jeans are changeable. And I'm taken. Sorry. Haircuts, but let me tell you something. Sorry. You know what's not changeable? I'm taken. I'll tell you what's not changeable. People who care about first impressions. He's a gentleman. He, I got to tell you something. I, I mean, our first date, I love what he brought up me. Not no typical guy. He was a gentleman. Box he was so condoms. spoken. No, he brought me gummy bears and two videotapes. Okay, but, okay. So, first impressions, by the way, are not always accurate. I don't think they're, you know, like based on last night's thing, they're not always necessarily fair, okay? And you said that. No. You gotta get people well, to change it sometimes. Sometimes you make mistakes. Like, again, yeah. those, not, I don't, I'm not talking about us. I'm talking about in general. People make mistakes. So, but you can't reverse or undo certain things. But again, you have to decide what matters most. Clothing, okay? didn't matter to me more than being with a good human being. You were a really, you were romantic. You were a doer. You were, let me, I could say all the amazing Yeah, I was, I was romantic. The first thing I asked you when I walked into your apartment was, where's the binoculars? Okay, well, it went over my head. You know that for sure, right? Right? So, are you all wondering how you could create a good first impression? Well, I never thought you'd ask. <laughs> So, so by the way, research. I gotta say something. I gotta say the messaging Holly, is how you should show up in Holly life in did general. A research. Now let me tell you something, okay? Yeah. So, no, because I was thinking about a lot of things. I'm sure you were. No, I feel as I was as we decided on this topic. No, I'm thinking. I was thinking of Lindsay today. Like Lindsay looked. Why at, did you point there? Because she was sitting there not too long ago. So <laughs> Lindsay and Elliot looked at some venues today to get married. Yes, and I gotta tell you. Lindsay's first impression just based on the photos of a website. So, by the way, your website does matter what it looks like because there are people looking and those impressions matter. And you should also have a website. Uh, well, first you should have a website. If you don't have a website, you can't even explore looking and you got to find other people's photos, right? Okay. So, the first thing is you should be on time. Well, let me tell you something. For the most part, you respect that. It's not necessarily your thing. And now, because it's like, what's oh, a big I'm, deal? No, I'm but usually, you're conscious. I'm usually on time. And if I'm not on time, I usually reach out and say, hey, I'm running, you know, five minutes late, ten minutes late. Okay, so the appearance is the first clue, okay? Now, you look, I'm sure you look good. I have a photo of you from our first date anyway. I'm sure you look good. I you, mean, uh, you have a photo of me from our first date? No, I don't. I have a photo. No, I don't have a photo. Yeah, we have a photo of us in front of La Jumelle. That wasn't our we first. We do? We do. I think it was our first anniversary, though. 
Actually, I think it was our first anniversary, our first anniversary, our first date, March 20th. Well, wouldn't the date be stamped on I don't the... know. We'd have to go look at the photo, but it's... I it's... do remember being no, in front no, of La Jumel, of putting a, a camera on top of a car. And why is it that I believe that? And do that, but it has to be Almost 30 years ago, that's... He was it still doing it. It has to be. It. I wouldn't have done that on our first hey, date. Hey, Michael. I wouldn't have done that on our first date. Okay, so the thing is, is one, be on time. Two, um, present yourself appropriately. So that comes also... Don't drool. To the, um, no, so your clothes, again, and again, this is subjective. If I want to be with a motorcycle dude, right, then, and, you know, and, or if I like tattoos, I don't. I mean, for me, for, I'm just saying, I've told you that. And I'm, I got to tell you, I think tattoos are beautiful. They're beautiful. I, I really do. I, don't, I love people of all colors, all races, all everything. But I think everyone has their own what they're looking for. So, mm -hmm. you know, and you also have personal environments and professional environments, mm -hmm. right? So, I don't mean to offend anyone. I mean, that is not my intention, Robert. I'm just, I think we all, I mean, like, you prefer blue brunettes. Wouldn't you say in general? I do. Okay. And you like bosomy girls. I, I do. I don't think all guys do. And then I would I think go there guys to love... uh -oh. redhead. You would? Yeah. And then My mother was a redhead once. I thought you would go to her. Okay. So, when I'm talking about appropriate um, presenting yourself... So your clothes should fit right, right? And yes. It, right? And it should um, not be wrinkled. It should be clean. Right? You should be tucked away. You're supposed to be tucked. It should be, be clean. clean. Right? Right. Well, appearance is your first clip. Okay. So this is some of the other things I say regularly. These are things. How you should how you should make a first impression is how you show up. So you should be aware that people are watching all the time. Well, you should. your first impression should also match who you are. So who and where you so are. So by the way, be yourself is next. Smile. I got to tell you, but people should smile because otherwise they look like miserable. Be open and confident. Runners so, don't smile. Well, you've, I've you've, said yes, that. you have said that. But body language is very important. So the thing is, there are people that are like, could you imagine if you're on a date? Oh, actually, Robert told me he well, went out if, with a girl. What if people don't understand body language? Well, then, then what if I told them that you know that you know your your crossed arms make me very uncomfortable is something upsetting you you would say that on a first date no i probably it would bother me and they probably wouldn't get a chance for a second date okay or maybe they would get the second date but if they did it again they would because not. you're 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 no like, i needed fresh meat yeah. right okay you said it not me mm -hmm. i didn't need it okay i didn't date very many people okay really no really okay really i i dated enough people okay. to know what i didn't want gotcha Hey, Suzanne. I hope you had a good time at the wedding. Um, she was a bayhead. I love it, a bayhead. Okay, so... Um, I love anyone, Oh, I'm you sure. small talk. So, by the way, conversation, as we all know, is based on give and take. Okay, how would you be if I sat there quiet all night? Which is not possible for me, but... Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I wouldn't know what to do. No, but with anybody. What if... What would you do? Have you been out with a girl prior to me? But didn't have much to say? Um, yeah, I guess the one that read the newspaper. That was a doozy. But I, but that, but that was hard. Be, it was but hard. that it would be you. much, but, it was hard. but, but, uh -huh. right, in a uh, relationship, like when you're in a comfortable relationship. That you now, could do. That right? you could do. I, you know, the phone comes out, yeah, right? You don't really, but you know and what? stuff, but there if you're times. on a first date. Yeah, it's rude. But, Rude. but in, in, you know, let's say they're 20 something on a first date where the phone is just part, it's like, That's it's like your eyelid. It's like, second. you know, it's just part, last of your, one on the list. part of your brain. Put the phone away. So but, it said, but, but rudeness, it is, the, it is one of the most, in, in, in most professional settings, it is rude to have your phone out. So by the way, I think that it's changing as we speak. But I do. You go to any. You go to any corporate environment now. Everyone's conference phone. table. Everyone's phone is out. Everyone's got a phone. I Listen, know. watch the news. But no, no. But if watch, you... watch uh, Morning Joe. Everybody on the on the, I know, on the panel. I know. Their phone is out, and they're checking it on camera. Yeah. But let's. But the thing is, that's part of the policy. I'm talking about if you're on um, a business meeting with someone else. Okay. What, what I think it's. I think it should be away. I, think I, it should be I, I agree. I agree. You should not be attending to your your phone when you're, or anything else when you're involved really in a right, an in interview, inter interaction, or, a, or business transaction, dinner. Okay. Or, so of other things that I say all the time, whether it be because these are the kind of things that people again, first impressions matter. I do believe they matter. Okay, and sometimes, like we said, 
um, it's 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 really hard what about to saying inappropriate. To, it's hard to well, oh my god. Well, that's that's sometimes you can't take back. You really can't take it back. But you got to be um, be aware of how you speak. So that's on my list. Be aware of how you speak. So go ahead. Like what? No, I mean like courteous, courtesy, like with thank you, you're welcome. Please, well, what about using? Excuse what me. What about using? Uh, that's cursing? important. What about cursing? I, you know what? I think that first of all, you have to know who you're around. But I think most of the time, it's not nice. Right, but you get a guy like Gary. Oh. Right. Yeah. Who, that's part of that's his, his language. thing. That's his language. Yeah. You know. Yeah. That's um, how he's his, his exclamation point. Yeah. So yeah. I, you know, I don't know really. Mm. You know, they used to say that about Howard Stern. I would like to talk. But Howard Stern is probably one of the most, you know, mild in terms of saying anything what do you think? online that violates FCC. I mean, there was a time where he was. What do you, you think, know. Emily Post? Is think it's an etiquette thing? I think again, and it depends on how you adjust to your times. But I don't think I think cursing is still um, not pleasant. I think right. it's still kind of uh, base. Yes. Yeah. Okay, and I am guilty. Think yeah. You have a fairly foul mouth at times. But I, I don't hear. Uh, 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 uh. Right. Well, then you should be able to control it other places. Well, that's... The thing is, if you can control it other places, you can control it anywhere. Right. So you should be courteous, you should be positive, and you should be attentive. And all of those things mean put the phone away. It means all those things. How you dress, how you speak, how you act, how you hold yourself. How you smell. How you smell. How you eat. How you eat. I mean, how are, you hold I gotta yourself tell you, and smell. I gotta tell you another thing that absolutely, I don't know. I, you know what? I don't think this person would actually get a second date. Chewing with their mouth open? You know, he knows me. He knows. He knows me. He, you know, that's the other thing. What about nose picking? <laughs> yeah, it's not good. But um, I, I've picked a little. Yeah. I've seen it. <laughs> I love how you love. Um, I mean, I don't, you know, I mean, I could put my foot in my mouth too. I mean, literally, I could, but except for the fact that my hip is killing me, I used to be able to go up. Look, Are you going to need a hip replacement? You know, this is not funny. I have been in terrible pain. Wow. Right? Terrible, terrible. I'm matching terrible. scars. So, anyways. Yes, anyways. Anyways, do you have anything to say about first no. impression, second impressions, no. and... Well, why don't you just tell everyone, what is your impression of me today, besides the fact that I'm so loud? Because that's your favorite thing to say, is how like, be quiet, how loud. But other than loudness, what today? You what? want my impression of you today? If you were to meet me today, oh, versus I would him. not like romantically. You are not my type. <laughs> He's stupid, stupid guy. You're my type. I'd never go for you today. I'd never want to be in bed with you. <laughs> You're stupid. <laughs> I would never want to do you today. If I met you today. I would never want to see. I wouldn't want to see you naked. Yeah, like right why now. would you say that on live Facebook, Facebook Live? Because these people have seen me before. I don't need to make a first impression. Uh, uh, they've seen. Me. I don't know if Catherine's ever. They seen know you. me. They know. They know how ridiculous I am. Now, we wish you an amazing rest of your Sunday evening. It is the last Sunday of October. We've got four days left: 28, 29, 30, and thirty-one. We all know what thirty-one is. It's Halloween. In you America. know, they did say. That there was an outside chance yeah. of like snow flurries. What? On Halloween? Yeah. Hmm. Do you remember the last time Wait. it snowed around Halloween? Oh, I think your car had a little, uh, uh the roof, uh, the tree, caved. The tree fell on my, uh, yeah, PT, our favorite car. I was, was thinking about that longer. driving today. If I had just gotten advice to change the timing belt, Bill should have told you that. John, my mechanic. <laughs> No, I think Bill, I think Bill should have said, you know what he says? You know what? But Bill's right. He said, read the manual. Who the goddamn reads that manual? Not me. So with that said, I hope you all think twice about the next time you're outside in the world <laughs> and you're with people. Because personally and professionally. Don't pick your nose. Don't scratch yourself. An inappropriate place. Listen, how many times have I been in the car and I've watched people putting their makeup on? Of course. I like the tweezer people. Oh, yeah, I've seen that. Yeah. It's good lighting, though. You've done that. I've done it as a passenger, and I know it. Listen, really, I really love just telling everyone what my little things are. I didn't say you. Oh, you did. I said people. I, you no, know, you said I, I see it. I'm very observant. You are. 
Oh, no, not that. Observant. You are macro observant. I'm a paid observer. As a videographer. Yeah, that's true. You are. You are a paid observer. What? Period. You are. Okay. You know, we didn't come live yesterday. I just actually, so we can just fill in a little bit, okay? Friday night, we went out with, oh God. So we went out with friend. Did we go live Saturday? No. Today's Sunday. No, I know. Did we go, oh no, did we go live Friday before we went out? Oh, yeah, yeah, we told you we were going to go see music. Let me just tell you something. We didn't know where we were going, to tell you the truth. We were driving Lindsay to South Orange Station to go see Aladdin because she won tickets. Well, lottery tickets, and she loved it. Right. She won the chance to purchase She won the chance tickets. to purchase inexpensive tickets. Right. She so, also sat in the balcony. Well, they had a good time. So that was Friday. So Robert and I didn't know what we were going to do. We ended up going to the uh, Melavino Meadery in Milburn. And then ended up going back to a restaurant, Porto Falafel, which... Yeah. We were the only ones in the restaurant, and right. the same music that was there the last time we were there about a month or so ago, that was playing outside when we were inside, which was great. This time, not as great. Great music, but decibels, like, beyond it was, it your was, eardrums could handle. It was four of us for dinner. That's it. We were the only ones in the restaurant. And there was and a four-by-four four restaurant. It's a small little restaurant. It was a jazz trio. They were very good, but it was, only three. It was so was loud. Than that. It sounded like a marching band. It sounded like ten-piece orchestra. But it was, no, it was just Not three good. pieces. It wasn't good. So then we that went... That was just way too much for that restaurant. So then we went to the boxcar, and we listened to some music called the... Who was there again? Uh, Punch the Monkey. Punch the Monkey, who we saw in... Um, We've Martha. seen him in a few different oh, We have seen him a few times. Oh, that's true. And Ringside Pub, We just too? like to go out to... We like to hear music. Right. So, play, Saturday they're like, night... They're like our age. We, um... We... Oh, I know. Robert went to the photo show at the Javits with Alex. And I went and helped... I ended up hanging out with Lindsay. And I ended up cleaning up her apartment. Which I really should have been cleaning up my house. But it's a lot easier to clean up are we house. ending... We were, but I just wanted to get everyone caught up with with, with oh, our excitement. Right, over because the weekend. okay, that was excitement. Okay. You made, Anything else you want exciting? You, you want made to a share? delicious dinner tonight. Yeah, I want to say thank you. It was delicious. You are. They are, and if anyone wants the recipe, you should ask Robert for it because it was delicious. They were, um, uh, uh meatloaf muffins. Meatloaf shaped as in the muffin cups. It was so good. So, so good. Hey, Heidi. Hey, Dawn. Hey, Joanne. Boy, it's nice time to see people coming on. Well. So they're like people like being on West Coast time. It's okay. Well, it was such a crappy day out here. Yuck. East. Awful. Yucky. So a lot of people are in tonight. So, have a nice rest of your night, and we will see you tomorrow.